Um, but for now, we're three past the hour, so we will get started. Welcome, everybody, to this week's Qvert Community Meeting. It is the 3rd of April, not the 4th of March, 2024. Um, nice to have you here. We like to start this meeting by welcoming our uh, new people and giving them opportunity to, um, to introduce themselves. I'll do things a little bit differently this week. And if you would like to introduce yourself, just drop a line in chat. We'll go through the schedule check-in, the upcoming CFPs. And then um, if someone's put their hand up or said something in chat, then we can uh, stop for a minute and you can introduce yourself and say, good day, who you are and what you're doing here. Um, but for now, let us jump into the schedule check-in. So this is version 1.3. My enormous old man, Zoom. Okay. So the, Cub uh, the Kubernetes release 1.30 must be coming up real soon. Uh, two weeks time, yesterday, no, two weeks from today. And after that, we'll begin our um, tag alpha creation in CI lands. Um, it's probably worthwhile pointing out that June feature freeze, 12th of June, and GA in on the 3rd of July. Um, and I haven't put it on, but we'll get to it in a second. Uh, Qbert Summit is between those two dates. So I need to trim some of these which have passed, but we've got a KCD, Kubernetes Community Day in Bologna. Uh, that's due tomorrow. So if you're going to be in the north of Italy um, in June 20th, I would like to submit. There's the details there. We've got DevConf uh, US, which will be in August. That's coming up in less than a week. And Qbert Summit, uh, June 25th, 26th. And CFPs are open until May 20. Um, and yeah. We've got Daniel Hill will, will be presenting at DevOps Pro Europe on May something, between the date of the 20th and the 24th. I don't think he's here because he's on holiday. All righty. Uh, no one has offered to introduce themselves, which is unsurprising because I think we're all familiar with this meeting, looking at the names. We have nothing on the agenda. But we do have uh, some stuff turning up in the open floor. Um, so this is a new design proposal that came up, I think this week from the networking team. Network binding plugin, is my screen, is it too big? It feels too big. No, it looks fine. Yeah, yeah? it's okay. Um, all right, downward API for advice info. I think this has had, um, Judging by my email notifications, a huge amount of conversation happening uh, today. Um, so yeah, this also came up in yesterday's API meeting, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so extending the network binding plugin. Um, we've also got a new adopter. Uh, the last time I checked this, it had not been approved, but maybe Someone would like to take a look while we're all here. It is S3NS. And we did have a chat to them a couple of weeks ago at uh, QCon. Super nice. Uh, it is still open. So uh, if anyone here has review or approval rights, um, I think this is uh, worth looking at. And we've got the SIG Observability Charter. Um, you've said just noting, but did you want to say anything about it? Hello. Uh, if anyone wants to take a look at the scope that I have, they are more than welcome. 
so yeah, they, they you, but just, yeah, as I said, just leaving a note here way. on community meeting. I already also yeah. sent an email about this to the mailing list, so I expect most of, most of the traffic to come from there. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, uh, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think yet any of the SIG charters have been merged, have they? Uh, I saw a couple of them on community hub already, but uh, yeah, I think at least four or five are still open. Okay. All right. Um, we don't have any pull requests that need attention that I could see. Um, so we'll jump into the mailing list review. CDI version 1.59 has been released. Uh, there is a link there to the release notes. Uh, Alex, you are here. Um, you sent out that email. Would you like to give us a quick uh, run through if there's anything that's not already in this note here? Uh, yeah, just a notable additions. We have a PVC mutating webhook that would just uh, autocomplete the storage capabilities for you. So that's a feature to check out. And we're also able to infer um, like always flavor on imported data volumes. We kind of do like a, we have this cool idea uh, by Felix that we could just have uh, environment variables set on the image and then we could take those and just propagate them into like Kubernetes labels. And that's basically means we now know more stuff about uh, VM disks than before. That is cool. And that's all. Awesome. Uh, well done to the storage team. Um, and I'm sure that is not all because I did have a quick look at the release notes and there's lots more than just that. Yeah. Um, so, so check it out. Click the, click the link. Um, we had a question on the mailing list. I think it might have been yesterday about uh, whether support VDK. Uh, I had to look up what VDK is, and I presume it's the Virtualized Developer Kit. Does anyone have any knowledge about this and can respond to um, Kai Meteor? I mean, we don't use VDK. We can't use those directly, but you can like convert them. The VDK can be converted or imported to be used in Kubevert to a different format. Thank you very much. Um, do you mind writing as much in a little reply? Sure. Thanks, Michael. All righty, and that one bug that I promised. Uh, this was also, um, in, what did they call it? They called a cross post on the mailing list. Uh, CPU based HPA for Windows VMs because metric server fails to get CPU utilization. So which one of you lovely people um, has their curiosity piqued by this one and would like to take it on? No one. I can look in this into this, but I mean, I'm not entirely sure what's the question here. Okay. Thank you, Vladik. Oh, 
All right, just six here. There we go. That does bring us to the bottom of our extremely short agenda. Um, while we're all here, is there anything anyone would like to uh, bring up, discuss, question, um, chat about? I'll take that as a no. So I will bring up something, but I promise I'll make it quick. Um, I did mention it before, but uh, Cubit Summit, um, by all means, I'd love to see a lot of um, uh, talk proposals from people within the community. Similarly, uh, if you are here and you are interested, um, I will need some help going through some of those submissions. Uh, so if you'd like to join the, what do we call it, the proposal review committee, something, something, um, and also help us potentially run it. Um, by all means, I welcome all um, all nominations. Um, yes, but you've got till May. But um, yeah, it'd be good to start seeing some things trickle through. Uh, it's a pretty exciting time. Um, I think that's it from all of us. It's not the shortest meeting we've ever had, but it is uh, the shortest in recent date. So thank you very much, everyone, for being here, for everything that you do in the community. Um, and we'll see you all next week. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you. See you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.